Hello, welcome to Going Global. I'm your host, Tong Semi. We continue our two-part special of Koreans in Argentina today. Last week, we looked at the past 50 years and the efforts of first-generation Korean immigrants who have set the foundation for second- and third-generation Koreans in Argentina. Today, let us follow the lives of the second-generation Koreans who have gained more economic power and third-generation Koreans who are paving their way into mainstream society. Let's take a look. A new era is opening for the Korean community in Argentina. Second-generation Koreans are finding their places in Argentinian society. They don't settle for economic abundance. They hope to repay the country for the opportunities they received and take part in the mainstream society. Let us meet the younger Koreans who are now breaking out of their comfort zone and jumping into mainstream Argentinian society. Actor Kim Chang Sung is known as an oddball among the Koreans in Argentina. Kim abandoned his stable clothes business and began studying acting in his mid 30s. Oh, Kim came to Argentina when he was seven years old, but lived outside Korean society since the age of ten. As a result, his Korean isn't as proficient. He had little exposure to other Koreans after his family moved out of Koreatown and into a middle-class neighborhood. All of his friends and his wife are Argentines, and as a result, he's fluent in Spanish. His grasp of the language helped him succeed as an actor for a TV sitcom, a role that requires improvisation. He grew as a movie actor and became a prominent figure in Argentina, but began to miss Korean society as he reached the age of 50. He actively took part in numerous Korean events and is currently making the documentary The 50th Chuseok, which commemorates 50 years of Korean immigration in Argentina. He visited Korea over the past summer with the documentary crew for the first time since immigrating to Argentina. His gratitude for his parents' generation grew as he learned about Korea's past and present. And it was like a great, a really special experience because he was really, I don't know, after 45 years, I don't know, and he, he find uh, his, his country, you know, his, the country where he was born. There's a wide gap between social classes in Argentina, but due to the influence of socialism, wage differences among different jobs are small. Subsequently, specialists such as doctors and lawyers do not make significantly more than people of other professions. This is why many of the second-generation Koreans return to the textile industry, despite receiving a significant amount of education. This is not a positive development when the goal for Koreans is to further integrate into the local society. 이 나라의 의사가 돼 가지고 어 병원에 어서 일을 하게 되면은 미불로 환산하면은 1000불 정도 되겠습니다. 예. 그러면 하나로 치면은 120만 예. 그러니까 
일단은 수익이 적고 그리고 이제 수익이 적은데 어, 상대적으로 이 옷, 옷의 섬유업에 종사하는 옆에 친구들을 보면 은막 10배씩 막 이렇게 수입이 되니까 28-year-old Korean-Argentinian lawyer, Pyeon kyo is gaining experience in the heart of Argentinian politics. His political mentor is Ivan Petrella, a confidant of Chief of Government of Buenos Aires and leading presidential candidate Mauricio Macri. Pyeon entered politics as a way of repaying Argentina for welcoming his parents and providing him with free education. 아직 이 나라가 발전할 점들이 많거든요. 근데 발전할 점들 중에서 한국 한국에서 보은을 받을 수 있는 그런 점들이 많습니다. 그렇기 때문에 거기서 이제 다리 역할을 하면 어떨까 싶어서 정치 쪽에서 계속 종사하고 일을 하고 있습니다. He graduated from the University of Buenos Aires School of Law with honors and studied abroad in Germany and the United States on government scholarship. He is also fluent in four languages. He has an impressive resume for any field. That Kyure is not just at the starting point. Uh -huh. I mean, that doesn't do him justice. He's far past the starting point. Mm -hmm. Because Kyure, at his age, mm -hmm. is, I mean, I don't know, but he's probably one of the most respected people of his age um, in the political party in Peru. Byun's family is in the textile industry but he has no thoughts of inheriting the family business. He believes that for the second generation Koreans to succeed, they need to gain expert knowledge and experience and dive into mainstream society working and competing with Argentines. If you want to work in the industry, you can't get out of there. If you want to get out of there, you can't get out of there. Comfort zone is called the comfort zone. If you want to get out of there, you can't get out of there. If you want to get out of there, 경쟁에서 이겨서 어, 이민 사회를 좀더 빛낼 수 있는 그런 어, 2세나 아니면 3세가 되었으면 좋겠습니다. Ophthalmologist Shin Moon Young came to Argentina at the age of 9. Shin graduated from the University of Buenos Aires School of Medicine, which has fostered three Nobel laureates and is currently working at a foreign-run hospital. Her husband and fellow alumnus, however, quit his goals of becoming a doctor during his residency. He felt that he wasn't getting as much out of his efforts. 같이 이제 다 졸업을 했고 저는 이제 안과로 레지던트를 여기 들어오고 그때 이제 그분이 이제 이비인후과로 시험을 봐서 들어갔는데 몇 개월을 하, 하더니 자기 적성이 안 맞고 뭐 그러더라고요. 그래서 이제 부모님이 가게를 하셨어요. 의료 가게. 그거로 해야 되겠다 그래서 그냥 그거로 해요. <웃음> Shin's parents played a big role in her career choice. Her father, a former director at a Korean school in Argentina, and her mother, a teacher, put more focus on educating their children than on earning money. I didn't a Samulnori, or Korean traditional percussion team, is currently practicing in the building that once housed the Korean Association. They are Nuripe a group with a 30-year history in Argentina. The group was founded by first-generation Korean immigrants in the 1980s, and second-generation Koreans took over the mantle in the 90s, maintaining the group until today. 
For a group that doesn't have any expert instructions and has relied on older members and the internet, the members are quite skilled. These days, other locals interested in Korean culture have joined the group. What are their thoughts on Korea? Argentinian amateur dance groups have gathered at a K-pop competition that celebrates 50 years of Korean immigration. This will be an unforgettable memory for these young dancers. Samantha Farias, a university student studying veterinarian medicine, began listening to K-pop while reminiscing about the American boy bands she grew up with. She created Shia Pop, a blog that focuses on Asian music. The website attracts 5,000 visitors every day, and K-pop fans from all across Latin America work on the website. La página en este momento somos 25 personas de staff, además de mi hermana y yo que somos las administradoras que coordinamos. Hay chicos de toda Latinoamérica, hay chicos de Chile, chicos de España, de tenemos también en Brasil, en Ecuador. Eh, México, en México tenemos un staff muy grande. Interest in Korean cuisine is also growing among Argentines. Local restaurant owner Javier Yurondo tried kimchi 10 years ago based on a friend's recommendation, and he liked it so much that he began serving it in his own restaurant. While he salts and ferments the cabbage as it's usually done, he seasons it with mangoes in the summer and apples in the winter. Sí, nosotros tenemos una manera ortodoxa, como no somos coreanos, hicimos una interpretación del kimchi a nuestra manera. Eh, nos gustó más hacerlo con, con el chile fresco que con el chile seco. No usamos el chile tradicional, usamos un chile que se llama jalapeño, eh, que, es el, que es más fácil conseguir y que es más carnoso. Flores University, located near Buenos Aires, Koreatown, began offering beginner and intermediate level Korean language classes in February of this year. Thanks to the Korean wave, there is a growing number of students wishing to learn Korean. University administrators believe that it's time to find a balance in foreign language education, which focuses mainly on European languages. Y que hay comunidades chinas, coreanas, japonesas, eh, tailandesas, indias, etc., de Asia en América, se tomó conciencia de que es importante tener vínculos culturales, vínculos políticos, vínculos comerciales sólidos. Si no hay un entendimiento es imposible. Esto es la razón de fondo. Today Korean immigrants are expressing their gratitude to Argentina. The people greet one another. They look back on the past 50 years of friendship and commit to another 50 years of fruitful ties. They thank Argentina for its generosity and wish that the future generations of the Korean people will prosper. Following the achievements of the past half century, a new chapter in the history of Koreans in Argentina has begun. What started as 78 people and 13 households in October 1965 has become a population of 30,000. Koreans do not make up even 1% of the 43 million in Argentina, but the influence of the Korean society is widespread. 
The Korean immigrants established an economic foothold in a short time, and they are fostering potential leaders for the political, cultural, and scientific sectors of Argentina. However, there is still the stereotype that Koreans are only interested in economic profit. Our Dongpo-sae가 향후 50년의를 미래를 내다본다면은 조금 더 투명하게 어떤 그이 나라 사회와 더불어 산다는 그런 생각을 가지고 사회 활동에도 참여하고 어떤 문화 예술 활동도 넓혀가면서 우리의 이미지를 고양시키는 게 필요하지 않을까 이렇게 생각이 됩니다. Argentina is 13 times the size of the Korean Peninsula and holds an abundance of natural resources. The economy has had volatile episodes, but Argentina is seen as the country with the most potential in Latin America. There is a need for a symbiotic relationship between Argentina, an agricultural powerhouse that produces 100 million tons of grain a year, with Korea, a nation of industries. This is why the Korean Argentinians' role of connecting these two far-flung nations will become more important in the future. The Korean society in Argentina will play a bigger role in Argentine society. And to help Korean immigrants settle down overseas, we need to further promote and raise the national image of Korea. As part of that, Korea and Argentina would need to develop a deeper and closer relationship and Korean immigrants in Argentina will be a key player in bringing the two nations closer. Now this concludes our Argentina special. Going Global will be back next week with more exciting and interesting stories from all around the world. Thank you for watching.